This is part two of my Q&A. Yesterday, I accidentally deleted half of my videos I took. So today, I'm gonna answer the rest of your questions and we'll get to it. First, I'm gonna make a smoothie and then I'll go right into the questions. So how I make my smoothies is I always have almond milk, strawberries and bananas frozen, a blender. So first, I could put in Let's ignore the fact that I'm in a bathroom right now and answer some questions. So I'm not quite sure what this question means, but if it means am I in love with someone who's in love, the answer is no. I actually don't have a crush on anyone. I'm alone and happy. So I have two options. The first one would be eat breadsticks for the rest of my life. And specifically the breadsticks from Pizza Factory. Oh my gosh. Or two, I would eat pizza for the rest of my life because I'm a huge pizza fan. Of course I miss Crimson. I miss all of my friends. Bugs are the grossest thing in the universe and they always will be and I wish that they didn't exist. I know there's a life cycle so they have to exist, but I really wish they didn't. I especially hate bees and spiders. They are nasty. I also hate butterflies and ladybugs and cockroaches and ants. I hate them all and nothing will ever change my mind. <gasps> Ew, okay, next question. Celebrity-wise, I look up to Sophia Ann Caruso. She inspires me so much. She's successful for a young age. She's beautiful and gorgeous, so talented. And also, Barrett Wilbert Weed. I love her name. Also, she is so confident and she inspires me a lot. I freaking love fall. The weather is perfect. Well, what I love about acting is that I get to experience being in different situations that I wouldn't in reality. And also performing makes people happy. People go to watch people perform for entertainment and to get away from their problems in life. To make people happy, it makes me happy. And that's all I want to do with my life. Boston Baked Beans. I think I'm the only one I know that thinks Boston Baked Beans is the best candy, but it will forever be my favorite. No one can change my mind. And comment down if it's your favorite candy too, because I'd be really surprised. My plans for the future. So I'm saving up to go to New York. Once I go to New York, I'm going to a school for acting and dancing so I can level up my skills, obviously. Then after New York, I'm going back to Florida to live with my family. I'm going to audition for commercials and TV shows and all those sorts of things. And my top goal for the future is to be on Broadway, obviously, or be in a movie or TV show. That is the top goal. Not a lot of crazy things happened to me, but the coolest, craziest time that I've had was when I got to Zoom call Kate Rockwell. She performed as Karen in Mean Girls on Broadway, and she's amazing. And I got to sing for her and she helped me with auditioning tips and it was a mind-blowing moment. Actually, I haven't liked a guy for almost two years and usually I'll like a guy one after the other. But ever since I went to Tuacon, I just really found myself and I learned to love myself and focus on my talents and skills. And I was so focused on myself that I didn't think of guys at all, and I still don't. And now that I'm graduating, I don't know when I'll ever like a guy. So one time my sister Aubrey fainted right in front of my bare eyes 
and I really thought that she was having a seizure and it scared the living hell out of me and I hate even thinking about that moment because I thought she was dying. I really did think she was going to die and that moment was terrifying. My favorite trip by far is going to New York and I've been on a lot of trips and for some reason going to New York has been my favorite. I really do think it's my favorite because I want to live there one day. Also, all my dreams are there and it's gorgeous there. People would disagree with me, but I think New York is gorgeous and when I went there, the weather was perfect and I rode bikes in Central Park and I felt like I was in a movie. As a theater nerd, I absolutely love Beetlejuice. I've been listening to it for three months straight, nothing else. I am obsessed. I also love Mean Girls, Hades Town, Dear Evan Hansen, let's see, Hairspray. I'll put a list of my top favorite, but trust me, there's more. When I'm not a theater nerd, the top is definitely Taylor Swift. Whatever mood I'm in, Taylor Swift. Sad, Taylor Swift. Happy, Taylor Swift. Constipated, Taylor Swift. Disney movie Tarzan, my favorite part is Trash in the Camp because it's so cute with all the apes and I love that song. My favorite part in the musical is when Clayton meets Tarzan for the first time because it's hilarious, especially with my cast. They play it so well. I love my friends so much. It's like an unconditional love and I just love them so much. But I am going to choose family over friends always. I have a lot of really good friends so I don't just have one best friend. Once I'm acquainted with you and we get along very well, I already count you as a best friend. And if we haven't seen each other for a couple of years and one day I see you at Walmart, I'm gonna go up to you and say hi because to me, we're still really good friends. The thing about me is that if we've been friends, we're always gonna be friends if you like it or not. I have OCD, so anything that has to do with germs usually is a pet peeve for me. For example, if someone is on my bed with shoes or dirty socks or dirty feet, or usually on my bed in general without asking, I will be grossed out and annoyed. Or if they eat on my bed, when people don't rinse off their dirty dish and then they put it in the clean sink, that annoys me. Can you make yourself burp? Okay, that was all the questions. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know I had fun answering them. I think I'm gonna do this more often, so comment down more questions and I'll write them down and make sure to answer them. Sayonara! Yeah, I had to pee the whole time. Oh, it's still recording!